Well, hello there to all of my Geminis. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your Motivational Monday video, which is really kind of an extension of Sunday's videos, just keeping, hoping to keep you motivated. So the Monday, Motivated Monday videos are shorter, obviously, than the Sunday videos. But we're going to get right into your reading, but it's really an extension of Sunday. So don't forget to go back and watch Sunday's videos. And this is just helping you to stay focused, moving through these, uh, moving through this cycle of expansion so let's get into it let's get into it let's get into it all right let's see what we have here i'm talking to you if you have gemini anywhere in your chart not just your sun moon rising and venus but anywhere in your chart let's go all right nice very nice very nice very nice gemini's 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 hey gemini's um if it is monday where you are tomorrow kicks off summer solstice cancer season as well as a new moon phase within this cycle it's the third quarter moon which closes out this cycle so the last seven days closes out this cycle so stay focused right here we have a lot of water a lot of water and a lot of air <laughs> so this is balanced out energy which is great here we have the nine of cups we also have the Eight of Cups and the Five of Cups. Make sure you can see those. Uh huh. We also have the Two of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Page of Swords. Yes, Two, Three, and Page of Swords. Let's go. Again, this is a general reading, and this is this is an extension of Sunday's reading. Okay, Monday motivational, just to keep you motivated, keep you moving forward, using the cards, right? Here we go. So what I'm looking at here is that because somebody has decided to get up from this space, right? See how this person is sitting down? This person got up and said, you know what? Sunrise, when I wake up the next morning, it's dark right here. When I wake up the next morning, sunrise, I'm getting up from this place of moving away from these emotions. So this is letting me know somebody made a firm decision to act, to move, move beyond this, right? So you're charging through those emotions. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, Gemini's, I love it. And emotionally, you're going to feel like you have hit the jackpot, right? Well, the, the, the great thing about this is that starting tomorrow, and that's if you are in an area where, in a, a part of the world where today is Monday, I realize that we do have some subscribers. It's already Tuesday. This still applies to you, okay? Just making sure we cover everybody because we still have some days where you're still some days it may seem like it's slow to get up from this space of feeling emotionally drained like i gotta leave these people down here in this black hole i gotta leave these energies down here in the black hole and i gotta leave my depression down there i gotta leave my frustration anger all those things down in that black hole because that's that's attaching me to something that caused me to be sad right and i'm talking about expansion so i gotta go ahead and clean house even including with my emotions if i really want to expand and the beautiful thing about us moving up on the last quarter moon, that's where you're going to finish strong. That's where uh, it's the last quarter moon in Aries. Aries symbol is the ram. You're going to be ramming through those emotions. Get it? So the bright side of Aries moon is that you're more energetic, enterprising, optimistic, open to change, idealistic. But the dark side of Aries moon is that you're more impulsive, opinionated, domineering, impatient, vain. So which one are you going to choose? Because that applies to everybody on the planet, every living thing on the planet, right? So as a air sign, as an air sign, um, the moon energy in Aries bestows a shrewd intellect and persuasive powers of expression right so this is where again like i said you're already a very smart sign somebody is really saying wait a minute hold on i'm putting so much emotion in this let me get up from this because i don't even want to feel like this anymore i'm smarter than this i'm more determined than this right yes absolutely right so this is where you're getting up you're persuading yourself to get up right you're not trying to manipulate anybody you're persuading yourself to get up and say i need to take these blindfolds off I need to get into some healing. I need to get into some therapy because there's no way I'm allowing somebody or something to keep me down this long, to keep me drained, that's pulled down into this hole for this long, right? Yes, absolutely. 
Absolutely. All right, let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. I, I love it, love it, love it, Gemini's. Like I said, this is an extension of your Sunday reading, right? So let's let's see what, what else is going on here. I'm trying to help you all get to this next cycle successfully. Yep, the world card. Yep, so this is right here is attached to the planet Saturn. Saturn is the planet of hard work, responsibility, ambition. So somebody is getting back to work. Somebody's like, I need to come up out of this emotional funk that I'm in. I got to ram through these emotions so I can move forward. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, right? That's right. This moon right here. This moon that we're coming up on, like I said, bestows a shrewd intellect. Somebody got their mind together. And so again, if it's Monday where you if it's Tuesday where you are, this you're already in that seven day period. But if it's Monday, you only got a few more hours, so you can ram through those emotions. Somebody doesn't want to repeat a cycle at all. They're like, I'm not letting people drag me back down to this place of where I can't emotionally even get up. I feel stuck, right? Queen of Pentacles. I'm trying to tell you, somebody better get up and get get focused on their hard work and their money and get back on their throne and making money. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Somebody may have been with somebody who may seem like they would have provided a very stable lifestyle, whereas, you know, two-parent household maybe, or possibly a two-parent household if there were kids involved or not kids involved, but I'm talking about the kind of stability where you feel like, okay, I'm not going to have to be nervous about my growing old and wondering if I'm going to be poor. Am I going to be able to maintain the same lifestyle of traveling and doing X, Y, and Z? But you're about to find out that you can do it without them. I am diplomatic. This is your number. You have been more than fair. Here we have, you have great talent for finding solutions. Your intuitive and unbiased nature allows you to see all sides of any situation and advise others towards the most fair and beneficial outcome. That's right. Your number for today is the number two. Let's pull your oracle cards and see what else is going on here, Gemini. I love it, love it, love it. Yeah, sometimes people make comments about, oh, these readings are shorter. Yes, because they used to be one minute. <laughs> this is an extension of that. So I extended it, you know, as a gift to my subscribers, you know, to extend it, right? So here we have connect with your womb. This really means connecting with your passion. What are you passionate about? That's what you're going to go after. Something that you're really, really passionate about. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else we have here. Your hard work is paying off. Your hard work is paying off. What's interesting, some of you all may have Capricorn in your chart. It says uh, new moon in Capricorn, but it's not a new moon in Capricorn, but Capricorn, you may have that in your chart. But the world card is also um, attached to Capricorn and Aquarius through the, the planet Saturn. Saturn is one of Aquarius's ruling planets, and it is the ruling planet for Capricorn. So some of you all are, you know, really charging through those emotions like a sea goat you know, the depth of those emotions, but you're also charging through those emotions like a ram on land. So, you know, you're getting grounded, rooted and grounded with your emotions and you're getting rooted and grounded, like really staying focused. So somebody is seriously taking action, like somebody is taking action to get some healing, right? But this is what I'm seeing for you. Like you're tapping into your feminine energy, just really deciding, hey, I need to nurture myself more. I can't sit around thinking about this energy that was keeping me emotionally drained. I got to get up from this space. Uh-uh. It could be your job that's causing that caused you to be like this. It could be your uh, friends or friendships that caused you to be like this. It can be a lover that caused you to be like this. But no. I, I got some things I'm passionate about, right? I need to get back on that throne and start focusing on the things that I'm passionate about. So, Because that's going to make you a lot of money, right? And of course, we know money isn't everything. But it is a tool that we use in exchange for goods and services, right? So it's the, what you can do with the money, the intention set behind. Uh, and so obviously your heart is in the right place because God is trying to put you back on the throne. Because otherwise, you know, if your intentions were to go out here and commit a crime with the money... How long would that last, right? But again, anyway, what I'm saying for you is that you're really pursuing what you're passionate about and there's a lot of money attached to it. So kudos to you, Gemini, and I will see you on Wednesday. All right, bye.